Okay, so I'm gonna start this video off with some good news and some bad news. The good news is Montreal won their game last night against the Philadelphia Flyers by a score of 5-2. to two. And the bad news is that, well, they won their game last night by a score of 5-2. to two. Wow, look at the standings. They're slowly creeping their way up into no man's land. But don't worry, there's still over 20 games left and they're not gonna keep winning like this, right? Ah, this game started off with a bang. Only a few minutes in and Mike Hoffman is all alone on a breakaway, makes a move, and ah, he misses the net. Everybody's probably laughing at him, but guess what? He's gonna shut everyone up when there's about two minutes left to go in the first period. Just tosses this saucy little pass over to Chewbacca and Savard pots his third goal of the season from Hoffman and Jesse Iwan alone of him. Now let's fast forward a couple of minutes and something truly magical happens. Remember that refugee that Montreal just rescued from waivers? Chris Tierney? Yes, yes, he's about to score his very first goal as a member of the Montreal Canadiens in his very first period. There's only about 10 seconds left to go. The puck gets dumped into the floor zone. And look at this hustle from Michael Pizzetta. My god, he gets in there, takes a hit, makes a beautiful pass while he's falling down. Every one of his curls stay intact and Chris Tierney puts the puck Pass Carter Hart. Wow, now you gotta admit, that was pretty cool. What a way to end the period. And you just know during the first intermission that Torts must have just had his boxing gloves on. I bet it was pretty ugly in there. Now, let's move on to about midway through the second period. The Flyers, they're looking for some kind of a spark. And Wade Allison, who I'm pretty sure got drafted based off of his resemblance to Gritty alone, he drops the gloves with Alex Belzeal after a clean hit. Allison would pick up the extra two for instigating, and Belzeal looked pretty good when, you know, he wasn't facing the opposite direction. You can kind of tell he doesn't do a whole lot of this, but hey, he hung in there. And on the following power play, just to rub the sot into the wounds of John Tortorella, it would be Ivan Provorov scoring his first goal of the game for Montreal. You see that? I Todd Anderson tipped it in, Suzuki Todd Anderson tipped it in, but here's your culprit right here. Just a gross game for the Flyers, and every time they came close to scoring up to this point, Jake Allen was always there to say not so fast. But now, let's get on to the third period, and right off the face off, the Habs turn over the puck. The Flyers get back into the Habs zone, and Owen Tippett, yes, another Flyers player that kind of resembles Gritty, he would fire an absolute rocket that fools Jake Allen. Tippett's got a good shot, I'll give him that. I'm pretty sure he scored a couple of goals for the Flyers the last time these two teams met, so uh, yeah, he loves playing against the Habs. And this goal would give the Flyers some temporary momentum, okay? They had some good stuff going right up until Jesse alone and tips in his point shot from Justin Barron. Just a dagger to the heart of heart. Who's stunned at this point? Look at him. He's looking at the riff. Wasn't his stick a little too high? No, heart. It wasn't. That would be Alonan's first goal of the season. The Canadians are up 4-1 to one now, and they're just running away with this one. And the last goal of the night for Montreal would go out to Josh Anderson, who decided to play a little game of fitch with his dog, Pinard. He dumps the puck in deep. Pinard goes in there like the savage he always is. Look at him. <laughs> Gets the puck back out to his owner, and Anderson makes no mistake. The Habs will go on to win this one by a score of 5-2, because Ivan Provorov felt a little bad about his first goal of the game for the wrong team, so he decided to get that one back. But anyway, that's how this one went down. Here's one more look at the standings before we leave. The Habs have to play the Senators tonight. And I don't know, I guess it's always nice to see wins, but at this point in the season, does it really even matter anymore? There's just so much heavy artillery going to be available at the top end of this draft, come on, come on. So leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think about all this, and hey, I'll see you next time.